can ask you about the fairgrounds, that sort of thing. So, anyway, that's what I want to talk about, okay? okay. All right, let's come on here. All right, Tri-City Sports Now, I'm Marky e. Bilson, and I'm joined from Nashville, Tennessee, by a guy who I think is establishing himself as a really great sports columnist with the Tennessean, Joe Rexrod. This isn't the first time he's been with us. It will probably be uh, the first of many, I hope, I hope, in recent times, because the Predators begin their uh, second, well, their march to the second straight Stanley Cup finals, let's say. Uh, at least that's what they're hoping for on Thursday. But before I get to that, uh, Joe, I know before you uh, came to Nashville, you were up in Michigan, and I read your tweets today, and there's a story that's uh, breaking about uh, Michigan State, and evidently 2015 it's come out where uh, there uh, there is a woman, well, well, why don't you tell us there, a, uh, uh, accusations of rape on three Michigan State basketball players, uh, w what's going on there? Yeah, Marky, well, thanks for having me on, first of all, and yeah, I mean, I don't know as much as, I mean, I've talked a little bit to, you know, when these things happen, I don't, uh, probably, of course, we've covered Michigan State for a long time, but... You see, the reason I wanted to ask you uh, about this is although, yeah, it might be Lansing, Michigan, which are East Lansing, Michigan, which doesn't really affect the Tri-Cities, I think there's a greater story here. You mentioned Tennessee. Yesterday, my monologue, and you can read it on uh, Medium if you uh, haven't uh, see, heard it or seen it already, is this mindset of protect the program. And you allude to it here at Michigan State. There's also, I felt, you know, yes, the standard UT fan, what he thinks of Butch Jones is going to say he's an idiot. But did he call Dre Balls a traitor? Oh, whoa, whoa, we don't know that. No, no. And in that entire in, in uh, instance, I think that Bowles is the only guy that could conceivably be called a hero as he tried to uh, help a rape victim out in that entire situation. And my, I, I've talked about this. We saw the movie Paterno this weekend. I've even talked about it here at ETSU, where we had a head football coach, Randy Sanders, suspended for a week because he uh, slapped a player on the helmet, and everybody seems to be uh, defending the coach. It's this mindset of protect the program at all costs. I guess the question is, I mean, this does seem to be at Michigan State another protect the program. Do you ever think we can get to the day in college athletics where you say, maybe we ought to protect the rape victim before the program and everything will work out in the long run better? Do you, do you see that, Joe Rexrod, is my question. What are your thoughts on protect the program? Oh, there's no question, Mark. And, and do I think we'll get there? I, I doubt it. Uh, I, mean, I mean, hate to be cynical, but, but you know, the interesting thing about college athletics
Uh, yeah. We'll talk about the, the intense passion for some of these teams and programs and tools and a lot of it's alums, but you know, it's not all alums. It's a lot of the people that in a particular server who have grown up loving, uh, you know, whatever it may be, Kentucky basketball, Michigan State football, you know, Nebraska football. I mean, so you've got those two things at once, and I think there's absolutely an instinct to, you know, to protect the program at all costs sort of instantly or to dismiss allegations uh, like this. I mean, I see, you know, I still have a lot of, you know, Michigan State fans on my, my Twitter yeah. you know, following, for example, and, you know, I see some of the reaction and it's, and it, you know, when it was Penn State or when it was Baylor, it was all oh, this, you know, this is all these people need to go, this is horrifying, this is disgusting, and I was like, well, nah, hold on now, man, wait a minute, you know. Let's, let's, let's talk this through. I mean, it's just, it's funny how that works. And, of course, then you've got also the, you know, the rivals of these schools who are mm-hmm. doubly, you know, harsh. I mean, the whole thing is it's kind of sickening, really, when, you, when you're talking about lives being destroyed. But, um, you know, it's a big problem. I think the culture of, of the way women are objectified, I think the culture of entitlement with college athletes, the way they're recruited, the way they're brought in, and, and you know, made sure to see all the all the pretty uh, young women at the university, and it's sort of hmm. like this: you come here, you can have whatever you want. And I think that there's a lot to this culture that needs to be fixed right now. So you, I, I'm hinting, Joe. If it was up to you, would you get rid of the hostess honeys then? Oh my gosh, it's amazing that um, <laughs> it's amazing that this is something that could have survived past the 1950s to me, but. Okay. But it is, and it's, 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 it's a, it's a, again, and I understand. And I've heard people say, "Look, a lot of these, it's not, it's not this unseemly thing. It's just, it's just, just hey, you know, nice looking women, and you know, they're just helping them around campus, whatever." But I, I don't care. To me, it, it, it feeds into this entire mindset, and and we all know there are documented cases of, you know, where it was more than just showing someone around campus. I think the entire thing of sort of. Um, you know, showing off or, or offering up um, women or, or you know, selling sex, essentially, which even you could take that to dance teams if you wanted to. But I think, uh, I think, oh, I really do. And I think, uh, you know, serious discussions have to be had about at all places. Because, you know, it's your case now, and there's going to be a next school uh, coming up here in a few months. And it's going to keep going and going. And I think it's, I think it's college athletics uh, in general that really needs I see that I, on the basis, I'm like you, I don't see a real problem with, uh, okay, a recruit uh, and a attractive young lady shows you around the comp- the, the campus. I mean, I, I think when I was going to college and looking at colleges, there were uh, some attractive young ladies that showed me around the campus, to be honest with you. Uh, so I, I'll give you, I, I'll throw that, Steve Spurrier's daughter was involved in a hostess program at Florida at one time. Yeah. But yeah, there is a situation where you start asking yourself, Lacey Earps and all this, what's going on? I got five seconds left, so I'm going to have to take a break. We'll do this and ask the other questions later. Joe, thanks for coming on. Okay. Unless you can, I know your, your time was short there. Uh, but yeah.